My name is Eunice Kennedy Schreiber. I started the Special Olympics. I was born July 10, 1921 in Brookline, Massachusetts. I created the Special Olympics because my sister Rosemary had an intellectual disability. Hello, my name is Helen Keller. I am blind and deaf. I was born on June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. When I was very young, I became very ill and was unable to hear or see. This was horrible because I was never taught to speak. I believe that if people with disabilities were given the same opportunities and experiences as everyone else, they could accomplish far more than anyone else ever thought was possible. The Special Olympics first started when my camp on a Maryland farm evolved into such a wonderful establishment called the Special Olympics. My entire life was an obstacle course until my teacher, Annie Sullivan, taught me to speak write, read, and type on a braille typewriter. With my ability now to read, I was able to write some of the best-selling books of my time. I couldn't have made any of these accomplishments if it weren't for the guidance of my inspirational teacher. You have inspired me so much, along with my sister, Rosemary. You both had disabilities and still persevered on me. I established a Special Olympics, and it changed so many people's lives. Many had seen disabled people throughout their lives and never realized how fortunate we are to be general ed and not have disabilities like others. I know how it feels, Eunice, to only have, to have all of those disabilities and be looked down on. When I learned to speak, I had a sense of release, that, relief that now people wouldn't look at me and have pity. Finally, when I wrote my books and they became best-selling, I knew that people enjoyed what I was writing for them. I am sure that the Special Olympics make people with a disability feel equal like they truly should be. Thank you for this opportunity, Helen. It was a pleasure learning how you persevered on and had a beautiful career in front of you despite your disability. I hope we could do this again sometime. Thank you, Eunice, for the opportunity and talking about your beautiful establishment that shows people with a disability and the families. It doesn't matter if you have a disability, you could still do anything.